The times rush past, and so do the caravans, thought the alchemist, as he watched the hundreds of people and animals arriving at the oasis. The alchemist picked up a book that someone in the caravan had brought. Leafing through the pages, he found a story about Narcissus. That's the man who knows all the secrets of the world, she said. He communicates with the genies of the desert. Astride the animal was a horseman dressed completely in black, with a falcon perched on his left shoulder. He wore a turban and his entire face, except for his eyes, was covered with a black kerchief. Remember that wherever your heart is, there you will find your treasure. You've got to find the treasure so that everything you have learned along the way can make sense. During the third year, the omens will continue to speak of your treasure and your destiny. You'll walk around, night after night, at the oasis, and Fatima will be unhappy because she'll feel it was she who interrupted your quest. The wise men understood that this natural world is only an image and a copy of paradise. The existence of this world is simply a guarantee that there exists a world that is perfect. What did you do that for? To show you one of life's simple lessons, the alchemist answered. When you possess great treasures within you, and try to tell others of them, seldom are you believed. When the pan had cooled, the monk and the boy looked at it, dazzled. The lead had dried into the shape of the pan, but it was no longer lead. It was gold. No matter what he does, every person on earth plays a central role in the history of the world. And normally he doesn't know it. Something bright reflected from his chest with such intensity that the boy was momentarily blinded. With a movement that was too quick for someone his age, the man covered whatever it was with his cape. Not always in this way, but I always appear in one form or another. Sometimes I appear in the form of a solution, or a good idea. At other times, at a crucial moment, I make it easier for things to happen. There are other things I do, too, but most of the time people don't realize I've done them. In order to find the treasure, you will have to follow the omens. God has prepared a path for everyone to follow. You just have to read the omens that he left for you. But the crystal merchant had no choice. He had lived 30 years of his life buying and selling crystal pieces, and now it was too late to do anything else. You didn't have to do any cleaning, he said. The Quran requires me to feed a hungry person. Well then, why did you let me do it? The boy asked. Because the crystal was dirty. And both you and I needed to cleanse our minds of negative thoughts. But he stayed with the job because the merchant, although he was an old grouch, treated him fairly. The boy received a good commission for each piece he sold and had already been able to put some money aside. I don't want to change anything, because I don't know how to deal with change. I'm used to the way I am. When he looked into her dark eyes and saw that her lips were poised between a laugh and silence, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke, the language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity more ancient than the desert. I came to tell you just one thing, the boy said. I want you to be my wife. I love you. I'm a desert woman, and I'm proud of that. I want my husband to wander as free as the wind that shapes the dunes. And, if I have to, I will accept the fact that he has become a part of the clouds, the animals, and the water of the desert. She would have to send her kisses on the wind, hoping that the wind would touch the boy's face, and would tell him that she was alive. 
that she was waiting for him, a woman awaiting a courageous man in search of his treasure. From that day on, the desert would represent only one thing to her, the hope for his return. Instead, it brought the scent of a perfume he knew well, and the touch of a kiss, a kiss that came from far away, slowly, slowly, until it rested on his lips. The boy smiled. It was the first time she had done that. 